So one of my favorite parts about uh, the My Mail Genius app is that we actually use it for our own internal use, uh, and it makes it so that I am not just the creator of the app, but also a user myself. Uh, and so here I'm going to show you exactly how it looks like when I use it, so you can get a little idea of how the My Mail Genius app works. So the very first thing we need is an email that we want to send. So here is my email that I'm wanting to send to all of my beta users. It's just a quick little update. I've got about 35 of them that I need to drip this blast out to. So once I'm happy with how this email looks, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go on over to automation. So in my automations, I have a workflow called stats dashboard update. Uh, and basically what this workflow is going to do is the very first thing it's going to do is it's going to send a webhook to the mymailgenius.com slash campaigns endpoint. And what this is going to do is this is going to add a tracking pixel, and that way we can keep track of uh, who exactly is opening, replying, or uh, failing when we send an email out. And then the next step, of course, is just the email itself. And so in the email uh, settings here, this is that template that I was just looking at a second ago. The from name is going to be who I want to send it from. So my mail genius. Uh, this is our contact email for the my mail genius at work with das.com. The subject is going to be my mail genius stats dashboard live. And then the template is going to be that template over here, the 7722. Yep, that is the correct one. So once I'm happy with that workflow and I have it saved, uh, I'm going to make sure uh, there's not an error. Give me one second. Awesome. Just a little version history conflict there. Nothing to worry about. Uh, and great, so now once this workflow is done, I'm going to come over here to my contacts page. Let me go back to workflows, and then let me come back over here to contacts. And I have a nice little smart list called purchase beta. I'm going to use this, select all 21 records, and I'm going to add to campaign slash workflow with the little bot guy here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, proceed. Uh, and I'm going to choose the workflow that I want to add, which is going to be uh, the stats dashboard update workflow that I just created. And I'm going to choose in drip mode. And then from here, I'm going to add my batch quantity and everything. So give me one second while I test all this out and uh, I'll show you what I set up here. So really quick, one thing that I did notice that uh, I want to make sure I point out is I got to make sure that the user that's actually sending this email is authenticated first. So let me first uh, do two things. First, I'm going to make sure I log in. So to log in, I'll go to mymailgenius.com slash login. I'll click connect with go high level and I'm going to choose my account. From here, it's going to ask me if I'm OK with this. I'm going to say yes. And from here, I'll see my user list. Now, I don't have this user added yet, the My Mail Genius at work with Das. So I'm going to go ahead and add user. I'm going to click My Mail Genius at work with Das.com. And I'm going to say, yep, this user understands all of this. And we'll go ahead and add that user. Great. And then you'll get a nice little update like this. And click OK. And you see that that user will show up here. Uh, with my mail genius at work with Das with no auth status. So to get this user authenticated, we must now go back to the go high level account. We'll go to settings, go to SMTP and mailgun, and we should see that user right here. And all we got to do is click connect Gmail. From there, I'll choose only sync replies. Can just sign in with Google, and then I'll do my login. Great, so once you've got your uh, account selected that you want to authenticate with, you'll just make sure that you select the permissions that you want to give us, uh, and then you'll click Allow. And from there, as long as uh, nothing's wrong with the auth status or auth process, then you'll see this. Click Close Window and Refresh, and you'll see that your auth status should show up. Awesome. Once you see that that shows as verified, you know that you can send with that account. So then all you got to do is go back to your drip mode of your uh, campaign that you're just setting up or the workflow that you were about to do in drip mode. You just come right back over here and you just select those again, add to campaign slash workflow and add in drip mode. And there you go. And then so once I set all this up, which again, let me show you. So there's really no one specific path to follow. Just know that Gmail limits you to 500 a day on the trial, 2000 a day on a paid workspace plan. Um, and you usually want to say the batch quantity is no more than, let's say, one, because one is usually the safest uh, method. But 
you can have it repeat every one minute, um, either every one minute or you can even do every 30 seconds. Uh, and this will make it so that you don't hit the per minute rate limit, which make sure you check out the Gmail per, per minute late uh, rate limits. Sorry, it's hard to say. Um, but this will just make sure that you, know, you don't go over the API limits for Gmail. Um, and once you have that set up, you'll just click add to campaign workflow and you'll be good to go. And we'll see what it looks like in the uh, stats dashboard here in just a second. All right, so let's go ahead and go take a look at exactly what uh, the stats dashboard looks like now that all of them have been sent. All right, and after we've given our uh, campaign a little bit of time to drip out, we're gonna come up here to analytics, go to production, and we should be taken to here, all you gotta do is click select campaign there on the left and click stats dashboard update, that's mine. And there you go, it'll start showing you the statistics. Now remember uh, that because of the iOS 15 privacy updates, uh, the open tracking can be a little off. Um, so that's why we rely more on reply tracking and click tracking, but I'll have another video showing how to do that later. But there you go, that is uh, how to use My Mail Genius for automating sending with Gmail. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, subscribe for future update videos.